How to create a button with a new morphism design in Flutter. We start with the blue container that we also make rounded. Next, we replace this blue background color of the container by the background color of the whole page. And lastly, we want to make this container again visible, therefore New Morphism uses shadows. We create one darker shadow at the bottom right corner. Also add a blur effect to soften the shadow. And next to the dark shadow, we create a lighter highlight shadow at the top left corner. Again, we give the shadow a blur effect. And with this, we have the elevated version of the New Morphic button. Next, we make the blur radius and offset more dynamic by placing them inside some fields. We also replace the outer drop shadows by inner shadows that are displayed within the container widget. With these inner shadows, we create the press state of our button. So we also change the blur effect and the offset of our button if the button is pressed. Lastly, we need to change this boolean field by wrapping a gesture detector around our container that toggles this is press boolean field. Also, if the button is pressed, then we have the inner shadow, otherwise the outer shadow. With this, if we click on this button, we go to the elevated or inset state of the button. Replace your container by an animated container. As a result, the change of our button is animated. Next, we create a dark mode flag with which we change the background color. And also, we change both shadow colors. With this, we have a dark mode new morphism button. For a button that has no selected state, we replace the gesture detector by a listener. With this, if I click short on this button, it is always going back to this elevated state. Optionally, if the button is pressed, you can completely hide the shadows. You could also use this website to generate a new morphism button, simply set from which side your light source is coming from, and then you can change the radius, the distance, and also the intensity of your shadows. And lastly, only copy the code, and simply paste this code into your Flutter project. How to create a glass morphism design in Flutter. Firstly, we create a white rounded container. And to the background color, we add some opacity. Next, we create a rounded border around the container. And finally, to this container, we add a colorful background to see this glass effect better. Next, we create a frosted glass effect by adding a blur effect to the glass, which blurs the whole background behind the card. Also, instead of a single color, you could add a gradient with two colors to your container to achieve a more beautiful design. And finally, place anything on top of this glass effect card, in this case a text widget. For more customization, you can add to your container decoration a noise background image, and then lower the opacity to 20% or to 5%, which helps to increase this frosted glass effect. Also, optionally, you can add a box shadow behind your card. And now, if you place the background image again inside, you see a great glass morphism design. You could also make it to a button by adding a boolean flag, and around your card, you wrap a gesture detector where you change this boolean flag. And lastly, if the button is pressed, then we want to change the opacity of our container. With this, we can tap on this glass button. Also, go to your container, and this container you change to an animated container. With this, the button is smoothly animated between the pressed and not pressed state. How to create custom shaped widgets in Flutter. Around the widget that you want to clip, wrap a clip pass widget. Next, we define how this widget should be clipped inside of a separate class. This class extends the custom clipper and overrides two more methods. Our first design consists of five points. We start by returning a pass object that always starts at the top left corner. From the first point, we create a straight line to the second point using the line2 method. Here only the y coordinate changes to the height. For now, we skip the curve and move to the fourth point instead. Here only the x coordinate changes by the width. The fifth point is at the y coordinate 0. And finally, we create a straight line to the first point by closing the path. Next, we replace the straight line by a curve. Inside the Bezier2 method, we keep the point 4 for the destination point, and before it, we need to add a control point. The x coordinate is at 50% of the width, and the y coordinate at 100 distance from the bottom. Notice the curve is going towards the control point, however, it is never reaching this point. 
Also, in case you want to change the position of the first point, then use the move to method. As a result, the close method will create a straight line from the last point to the new first point. Alternatively, use the shape maker to create easily shapes. Simply click and locate the points on the canvas. For a selected point, you can click on handle. With this, you can adjust the curve on the right side and on the left side of the point. After you're done, click on Get Coach and then copy the path of the shape. Replace it with the path in your custom clipper and in your app, look at the curve that you have created. How to create a neon light effect for a button in Flutter. Firstly, add a dark background color and a white text. For the text, we create a red shadow color that we attach to the textile of our text. Next to a single shadow, you could also create multiple other shadows to intensify the neon effect. Alternatively, you can define multiple shadows as a for loop. Next, create in your state a boolean flag that is then toggled when the text widget was pressed. In this case, we draw more shadows if the text is pressed. Next, around the text widget, we wrap a text button with a white border. For this border, we also create a neon effect by wrapping the text button inside of a container widget. Inside of it, we create an inset shadow. This shadow we intensify if we click on this button. With this, as soon as we hover over this button, the glowing effect becomes stronger. Also, let's put again the normal neon color inside. Next, we create a shadow outside the border. Again, if we press or hover over it, we intensify the shadow. Also put again the inner shadow inside to have this cool glowing effect for your button. And now you could change the shadow color, for example, to blue, or change the color to purple, or use as a color, for example, green. Optionally, add a background color if the button is hovered or pressed.